Ahmad Desai from the Independent Producers Organization joins me in studio for more. Thanks so much for your time on SABC News. Yesterday you issued a statement saying only a state guaranteed loan can save the SABC from implosion. Absolutely. The, this is not a bailout. Let's be clear. It's simply a guarantee that the SABC loans from the commercial banks uh, will be given by the government. So we have heard the, the new executives, the CFO and the CEO, present their case to us and we're convinced if the government provide the loan that the SABC executive management are asking for, this would, uh, we would only require one such guarantee, certainly in the coming four or five years. We think that's sufficient. We've seen the figures. We believe that they can do it. They're competent, as are many of the uh, members of the new board. And they need to be given the space to do what's required. The SABC has been given borrowing powers and a borrowing limit of up to 1.2 billion rand by a national treasury in line with PFMA. Why is that not okay? Why do we need... Uh, it, it appears as though there's always a need for bailouts. SABC is not a going concern. For how long are we going to say, oh, no, we just need one more loan before we, we steady the ship? The uh, go-ahead on the 1.2 billion to seek financing has been unsuccessful. Mm -hmm. We are now at a situation where this is in many ways a, a, a parastate or a government state-owned enterprise. It provides a service to just under 40 million South Africans. Most of them uh, are unserviced, uh, are the most, the most vulnerable parts of our population. Being informed, uh, having an informed citizenry, having a means of communication, having our current affairs and documentaries and dramas, th these, these are key to their quality of life. We can't let them down. This is, too, this is an incredibly important pillar for South Africa's democracy and democracy building uh, exercise. So we have to put the nation first. Cyril Ramaphosa, our president, needs to put the nation before anything else. We're very concerned by the claim a lot of politicians have made that actually this is a push by the Thule House to collapse this board because this board has flexed its muscles when it comes to demanding its independence. What did you make then of the new communications minister saying that she can no longer communicate with the board uh, before these resignations came in and, and there's an impasse basically and people saying that is one of the ways of trying to collapse the board and, and have political influence asserted over the SABC as we go into elections? We were very disappointed in uh, one of the first actions of the new communications minister to behave in this way. We think it's irresponsible. She's not putting the country first. Uh, it's possibly illegal and we appeal to her in the interests of the country and the production sector, uh, an embryonic emerging industry in South Africa which has been bleeding over the last few years, <coughs> not to continue because our big production houses that belong to the IPO and produce the soapies that millions of South Africans watch every day is now at stake. They're unable, to, they've got very huge debts uh, on their books because of late payment schedules in some cases, they're unable to pay salaries and so on. So uh, we're, we're looking at the prospect of blank screens where those soapies uh, sit at the moment. We can't have that. Yeah, SOS and MMA are calling on producers of SABC's soapies to desist from not delivering programming to the public broadcaster. It's back to that question I asked. At what point do people say that as much as it's important for the public broadcast to deliver content, it's also important for those producers who keep this uh, industry going to ensure that their staff are paid, to ensure that they keep on going. Absolutely. I mean, th 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 there's a symbiosis here. That we're intertwined at the hip, and we need the, everybody to come to the party. We need the board, uh, and it's, it's still in place despite the resignations, to step back from their, th their call for... To, to follow through on the one section 189, the retrenchment process inside the SABC. We need the minister to come to the table to engage. We need the president to make sure that this happens uh, at the same time as providing the state guaranteed loan. There is only one solution at the moment, and that means all stakeholders coming together and putting the nation before their narrow interests, whether they're economic or political. 
The, there has been a call for the board members to retract their resignations and stay so there's a, the board doesn't collapse. Mm. Um, why do you believe or do you have any insight into why they resigned besides what people are saying? Well, we know that uh, two of them have been named uh, by the Special Investigation Unit in the awarding of an irregular tender while they were part of the interim board. I think that's very embarrassing for those two. They certainly, it certainly seems uh, some wrongdoing there, uh, whether it's a lack of experience or incompetence or, 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 or simple corruption is another matter. But we, we have asked them, we've nominated these people to, uh, st uh, to stand in the first place and as the IPO, and we, we want them to, to, to withdraw the resignations if possible. We want the, we believe we have the re requisite quality. The problem we have now is m many of them may not heed our call or that of the SOS, mm. and that we have a sh we, we're looking at a position where the board may become in in the very near future. That means Parliament, again, has to step up and do what it needs to do in this instance and assert the sovereignty of Parliament in, over this. They are the oversight uh, of the SABC. They need to ensure that those people that have been nominated and interviewed and uh, are to be interviewed happens with all possible speed. Krish Naidu, there's a statement that was attributed to him saying that he doesn't want to fight, he'd rather fight for the SABC, he's not trying to uh, fight government. Uh, and, and there's there's an intimation there that there is something going on behind the scenes and there is political pressure. So how do you deal with that? And it seems like it's a constant narrative with SABC, not just this board, not the previous board, not the previous board. This is always happening. Someone jokingly said that maybe the SABC needs a cleansing ceremony. Uh, that might be the only way to stop these dramas. What's happened is SABC has become a casualty of the warfare that's been happening uh, inside of the ANC over the last 10 years. Uh, firstly, with the rise of Jacob Zuma and the fight between Jacob Zuma and Tabo and Becky, and now, uh, but, uh, then between the uh, Zuma faction and the, those who wanted Zuma out, and now there, there, there is a fight back of some um, things that, you know, beliefs, uh, not in the words of Cyril Ramaphosa, that we must co-determine our future, but in the SABC being clearly under the political control of the ruling party. Now we have to take these claims seriously and we have to ask the parliamentarians and the ruling party and government to step up to the plate and do what's right for the nation. We know that uh, Krish Naidu uh, did not want to resign but was pushed and, and pressurised by Latuli House to resign. That Ask, means we ask the question what is Latuli House up to in this instance and we're asking them to stand down stand down in the interests of the nation there is a concern then that uh, the SABC may not be independent and impartial as people believe it has been with the new management uh, the new leadership and the new board is that a valid concern or are we okay for now I think that is a valid concern um, but not for the moment. For the moment, we have a board in place, and that board has integrity, and it means we have to give all possible support to the board. The, the unions inside the building need to give their support to the board, and we need together to come together and pressure government to do the right thing. They know what the right thing uh, to do is. They just need to do it now. Thanks so much for your time, Rahad you. Desai on SABC News. On the issues affecting the public broadcaster and the resignations of those four board members, we are following that story and keeping you updated. It's over to you for some sports. Nampumerelo.